The drowning deaths last weekend of two siblings in Lake Georgetown have a lot of people thinking about ways to keep their children safe in the water. Those children were four and six years old. Drowning is the leading cause of death for children in this age group. An Austin nonprofit is working to make parents aware there's wearable technology that can help you track how long your child is in the water. KXAN Sophia Beausoleil explains. He was happy and everyone loved him, loved to be around him. Four-year-old Colin Holst was proud. He had just finished swim lessons. The next day, he went to the pool with family and friends, ducking in and out of the water, but he had went under and drowned. So many times, children drown fast and silently, and everyone thinks someone else is watching. Alyssa Magram is the executive director of Collins Hope. The nonprofit started six years ago after Collins' death. She says you can never have enough eyes in the pool. Now a device called the Eye Swim Band adds another layer of protection. Here's how it works. You either put a wristband or a headband on your child, and there's a tiny device that links up to either your phone or tablet. So if your child is in the water for too long, you'll hear this. A loud alarm that lets you know they're possibly in danger. The tools are there. If we don't do something different, we're going to get the same results. Paul Newcomb is behind the wearable technology. You can program the device to go off as little as three seconds or up to a minute. It just depends on the swimmer. I think the bracelet is super cool. It makes me feel safe and I feel protected because I know that my parents can monitor me and how long I stay underwater. You can have the ice swim band, but your eyes have to be on the water. Advice Alyssa says shouldn't be taken lightly. Reporting from Northwest Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. This device has been on the market for about two weeks now. It costs $99. Another way to cut the risk of drowning is to put a fence around your backyard swimming pool. But there's no state law that requires fences for residential pools. The state leaves that up to cities and municipalities to make their own rules. For example, Austin requires pool owners to have a fence at least four feet high. One of the best ways to prevent drowning is to make sure children know how to stay afloat. In fact, some classes teach children as young as six months old. KXA and Sally Hernandez checked out an Austin class back in 2010. You may remember this video. She saw this seven-month-old boy learn how to float. It is difficult to watch at first, but remember, this is a supervised lesson. I want you to watch as the baby's head goes underwater, but look, he quickly kicks his legs and flips from his stomach to his back and floats calmly to the top, waiting for help. There are a few certified instructors in Central Texas. It takes about four to six weeks to teach a baby these skills.